Today's one is a good one because I'll be sharing you my secret workflow tips and tricks which will help to boost your productivity. If you like what I do and if you want to see more content like this, I would highly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and make sure that notification bell is turned on. The CG Lounge is becoming the biggest and the best CG server out there. We have master classes, we have challenges, we even have team challenges and we do have a pets channel. So be sure to check out our Discord team server. The link is in the description below. A really great tool I use all the time is called Epic Pen. It allows me to annotate on top of my current view so I can draw things, I can annotate things. And this is very helpful if you are presenting maybe in your Zoom calls, just want to show people exactly what you're talking about. I will be using this in all my tutorials because it's just a very nice way to show others what you're exactly talking about. If you don't know PureRef by now, you should definitely check out my video on PureRef, what it is, what it can do, how powerful it is. I'm using PureRef all the time to overlay my reference images on top of my screen. So when I do look dev, lighting or rendering, I can easily always zoom in here, check exactly what I want to do. You should be using references all the time to boost your productivity and I would highly recommend you use PureRef. Next up comes my all time favorite, which is called Alt Drag. I have been using this tool for so long, I can't even know what it allows me to do. If you're a Linux user, you will definitely love this because you can quite easily now move your windows by hitting the, the windows key and you can just click anyone in the window and move it. You can scale it. You can scale it from the center. You can click and drag to move it. And as I said, you can scale the window sizes quite easily. Without this, you will always need to click on the taskbar and hit it, especially if you use a dock mode, it's quite hard to hit it. And then you can obviously drag it. If you want to scale it, you need to very carefully get to the edge of the screen just to get these little two crosshairs just to be able to move it. So again, if you hit the Windows key, you can just click and drag anywhere. You can scale your windows. You are very fast to move things around. And I will be using this in every video I do. Now let's talk about Windows shortcuts. One shortcut or hotkey I use all the time is Windows, Shift and S. You can click those three keys together and you get like a little cursor and you can drag over a region. This will give you a snapshot of this and it will be stored to your clipboard. You can also click on this pop up here and it will open up. You can do some paint overs. You can then hit Ctrl S to save it to disk or you can just hit Ctrl C after you drew something on it. And let's say you want to go into a hangout chat. You can just hit Ctrl paste and your message is being dropped right in here. It's a very convenient way to talk to your colleagues, show them examples, quickly do screenshots, paste them in here. Another hotkey I'm using super frequently is Windows and E. This will open me up a brand new Explorer window. I can open up my navigation bar, quickly jump into my locations where I need to go and close it back up. And if I need another window, Windows E is the shortcut for that. If you're doing heavy work like rendering, working in Mari, playing a game or whatever and you quickly want to check out your system resources, Control Shift and Escape opens up your Windows resources tool. I'm using Process Hacker which is a very nice add-on for Windows. You can always open up your default task manager like this um, to get the views you need. A very powerful thing I use all the time is called virtual desktop. You have that in Linux, in Mac and in Windows. And what it allows you to do is have different kind of workspaces for different kind of applications. So on my first desktop, I have Houdini open right now, but on my next desktop, I have Premiere open. So it's very easy to quickly switch between those workspaces. On your taskbar is this little icon here, which opens up the task view and you can quickly create new desktops. The hotkey to jump between workspaces is control windows left and right key, and you can quickly jump to the next or previous desktop like that.
If you want to work very efficient and clean, what I always recommend you to do is always have the same folder structure. I created a small little Python script which helps me to do exactly that. All I have to do is right click in a folder and go to create project and then a little bat file is, is launched and I can say what is the project name and you can see it has these pre-filled subfolders and all you got to do now is hit create and it will create you the folder and it will create you all the subfolders needed and I use this all the time to always have the same folder structure. If you want this kind of Python file just head over to the discord server which is linked in the description below and let me know and message me and I can send it over to you. Another great tool for sharing and collaboration is called screen to gif and I use that quite frequently if I want to show others exactly what they need to do. If I want to show them the steps, you click here, click there, click there. I use screen to give all the time. So you can just hit recorder. It will open up a window for you and you can just hit record. And whatever happens now, it will re record in this kind of scene space. So in this little uh, rectangle here, you can move folders, you can move that image and whatnot. And you just hit stop after you are done showing what you want to show. And then it will create you a, a GIF file from that. If you are looking for high quality reference images, Unsplash is the place to go. You can use them freely in all your projects. You can check the license agreements in the, in the, if you click on here, but you can search for anything. Let's say Vespa, this is what I did for my previous tutorial. And you can see you get high quality reference images of the props or assets you're looking for. And if you don't want to break your risks, especially if you're working on your computer for eight hours a day, you want to make sure that you protect your wrists. And I highly recommend using a Wacom tablet or any kind of tablet, which gives you a natural pose of your wrist. I have been using a tablet for probably 12 years now and I will use it every day. I'm very comfortable using it. But again, it takes some time to get used to, but it's a very good investment and it will save your hands. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite of all these tips. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.